This is a remote control. Okay, we're gonna use it throughout this, uh, this talk and we're gonna first hit the post key. We're gonna post for a second and acknowledge that today the web is in a bad state. It's a bit sick, right? We do ship too much JavaScript too early and as a consequence of that, we have poor performances. We have to wait for too long before a website or a web app is interactive. We want to do a better job. But at the same time, we want to build these amazing and rich experiences and they require JavaScript so that we have interactivity. So we basically have like a trend where we ship more and more stuff to our clients, okay, that require more and more JavaScript. But the more we ship JavaScript, the, the, the worse we perform. So how can we solve that? Well, the good news is there are a couple of initiatives, awesome projects out there that help us solve these problems. We just saw Astro, uh, we, we also saw Remax. I'm gonna talk about quick. So my name is Antoine and uh, at, I'm uh, the co one of the co-founders of Rosa. And at Rosa, we wanna build a go-to app for patients so that when they think about health, they go to Rosa as people think about Airbnb when they want to plan their trip. There is, a, there is a traction problem. We first need to build a traction. So what we built today is an online booking platform. So you can go on, on rosa.be and you can search for a dentist in Brussels. Why do we care about performance? We care about performance for two things. First, we want to bring you know, these amazing experiences to, to your users. But we also compete on SEO. Okay, so if someone enters uh, on Google and search for dentist Brussels, we want to score best. Okay, we want to be on top. And for that, we need amazing performances. We need, to be the short, we, we need to have the shortest possible time to interactive. So let's talk about Quick. Quick is a new framework to build, uh, to build web applications. And it is different because it is resumable as opposed to replayable, okay? So Quick App will be instantly interactive and there's no hydration needed. So let's keep hydration for the speakers and not for the uh, web applications, right? So how, how is that possible? What's the difference between resumability and replayability? We'll discover that. The good way to picture, to have your mental model about resumability is to think in terms of virtual machines. A virtual machine, you can spin up a, an OS, and at some point you play, you open stuff, etc. and then you're gonna pose it, you can move the, the virtual machine, and then you can resume it, and you will find the exact same state that you had before, okay? If you compare that to a replayable framework and SSR, the way I view this is basically you have that virtual machine, or you have that OS with its state, you basically take a screenshot of it, you ship it to the client, and then with instructions on how to rebuild that state. And basically the hydration part is all the work that you have to do from displaying that screenshot to the actual application and the actual windows, etc., that are interactive. Quick is built by an amazing team from Builder.io. Um, they are also the authors of Partiton, and I highly recommend that you check that you, that you check those projects. I'm going to skip the slides because Shunde explained it um, uh, perfectly, and I think that the screenshot example should uh, should help us there. All right, so let's use our remote once again and click on the zoom uh, zoom button, and let's ha let's have a look at some code. So very simple component, a React component here. It's a counter. It's basically just a button. You click on it, and um, a value is incremented. Now, if you look at the same, at the same uh, component, but this time written in Quick, you see that it's very, very close to React. It also, re it also uses um, TSX. You basically replace your use state by use store, and you see that this on click has a dollar sign at the end. These are the two things you should notice. Now, how does the magic happen between the code that I write here and the resumability? What's the trick? So Quick has something called an optimizer. It's a piece of software that is written in Rust, super fast, that will transform the code that you write, in which you have that amazing 
and developer experience that you like that React has brought to us. And then it will basically transform your code in such a way that it is resumable. Let's have a look at what we mean by that. So here we just look at the state and we see what happens to, the, to, that, to that piece of code and how it is kind of dumped into the HTML, serialized into the HTML. So quick is resumable thanks to that. So here you see the value zero, you will find it here. So in the HTML, you'll find here a script with a quick slash JSON. And the value zero here basically, basically comes here into the object's property, which represents the state, and you find the value zero there. Okay, we're not gonna cover the rest, but basically, if you look at a quick app and you look at the HTML that is produced, you will find that quick slash JSON that basically has everything serialized. Now, if we, if, we go the, if, we, if we dig deeper, we'll also see that even, even handlers somehow are serialized. And so what we see here is we have the on column click, and then we have something which is a bit weird, right? It is like component div button on click, and then it, ha it has this hash. That is kind of, you, you can think, think about it as a URL or as a QRL, and it will point to a file that was produced by the quick optimizer. So we went from that on click dollar to a dump in the HTML with the on column click, and it is pointing to that file that was produced by the quick optimizer. And what you see here is the stored at count plus plus, exactly what we, what we wrote ourselves, but you see that it's transformed in such a way that it will be able to resume the state of the application from the HTML using that use lexical scope function. All right, so now that we, um, that we kind of uh, scratch the surface and look deep into, into the code, let's step back and have a look at a, an actual application. So here, let's imagine, let's pretend that this is an application. Each rectangle represents a component. And so you see that you have nested components here. Let's quickly compare how a Nylon architecture, such as the one of Astro, will compare with Quick. Let's pretend that I, as a user, I just received that HTML, okay, and I want to interact with it. And I'm going to click on one of these uh, child components there, one of these rectangles. And the question is, what will Astro has to, have to do for the page for that component to be interactive? Okay, hydration, but what part will be hydrated? And then we can look at the same, in the case of Quick, what part of the component tree needs to be resumed. And in the case of Astro, an entire island somehow will need to be hydrated, at least a boundary. Uh, so you, you will need to perform partial hydration. And so here you see that the, um, the, you have a couple of child components that need to be hydrated, even though you only clicked on one. In the case of, of Quick, what you have is only the component that you actually interacted with needs to be resumed for, 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 for the in interactivity to, um, to, be, uh, to happen. So that's quite, that's quite amazing. Now, you all are probably React developers, um, and the good news is Quick comes with a, um, a mechanism to consume React components directly. So, and you can think, think of it a bit like, hey, it is, close to, it is close to what Astro does, up to a point where here, you could, you could say when, you, when you're going to consume this my quick component here, which, which wraps the button component of, um, of React, you, you, you will be able to do also stuff like client visible or client uh, when the client load, etc., so that you can say when quick should hydrate that component. All right, so quick just reach beta. What it means is the, the API is stable. Um, you can consider it as production ready. There are still some rough edges, but, um, but they will be sorted out. Um, what you also have to know is that Quick comes with a meta framework such as, which is comparable to Next.js or to Remix. So you also have file-based routing, etc., on top of, I would say, the rendering engine. Now, let's think about 
let's take a step back and let's dream about the future. Okay, so we have that quick optimizer, and we saw that every time there's a dollar sign, the quick optimizer will create a chunk. We also saw that the way that Quick looks at apps is basically there are as many entry points into your app as there are, I would say, interactivity parts. Now, think about this. If you start to analyze real user data on what chunks gets downloaded when, so basically what is the path that a user walk through your app, you can start to prefetch those chunks and even to bundle them together so that they make sense and to have them ready is ASAP as soon as the user wants to interact. Okay, so what will happen is you will have that chunk that you prefetch, you do not parse, you, don't, you do not execute it until the user actually clicks or interact, but then the entire path is ready for the user to consume. It is amazing, and I'm very excited, of course, about this, uh, about this tech. So let's pause again, but I will stick around for the rest of the day. So if you want to resume the conversation, I will be happy to chat with you.